Hey what is up my name is Mark and welcome back sa aking channel. So for today's video we'll be talking about Microsoft Office 365 and uh, ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ng Office 365 sa old office na ginagamit ko. We all know that most of the teachers ay gumagamit ng office application just like kung paano mag-compute ng grades, kung paano gumawa ng presentation, gumawa ng lesson and it is very useful. Okay, kaya pag-uusapan natin kung ano nga ba yung mga features na pwede natin magamit. In the past, ang style ng Microsoft when it comes to selling their product is buy a box or buy a license na tinatawag natin. If you are familiar, siguro some of our teachers or some of you ang ginagamit ay Office 2007, Office 2010, Office 2013, Office 2016, Office 2019 working, bibili ka ng license. Okay? At yung license na yon once na purchase mo, lifetime mo nang magagamit yon Kaso nga lang, uh, limited ka sa mga features na available or limited ka sa mga features na nilalabas or nire-release ng Microsoft. Okay? So, ngayon, most of the companies like Adobe is switching from this what we call subscription wherein most of teachers are using smartphone, tablets, and even laptop in delivering their lessons or in 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 business kaya itong si office ay nag transfer na din or nag switch na din into this what they call subscription kaya in introduce itong si Microsoft 365 just like Adobe na once na nag subscribe ka is ma access mo lahat ng mga features at lahat ng latest updates ng Adobe product. So, just like Microsoft Office 365, kapag meron silang bagong updates, ay makukuha natin kaagad ito. Kasi, it is a suit. Kaya, once na meron kang subscription, meron kang collection of apps. So, nandun na lahat. Just like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint. Then, dahil sa subscription siya, updated ito lagi. No? Updated palagi ang ating software. Kung may mga bagong release ang Microsoft Office, no, automatic makukuha natin yon. Ang kagandahan ng Office 365 no, is um, once na gumawa tayo ng document, automatic na nag upload siya doon sa tinatawag nating cloud or doon sa tinatawag nating OneDrive. Okay? Which is the Microsoft Office 365 offers 1 terabyte of storage. So, ibig sabihin, uh, napakalaking napakalaking storage capacity na yun. So, initially, ang binibigay ng Office 365 para sa atin ng mga teachers is 1 terabyte initial. And once na naubos natin yung 1 terabyte, nagiging unlimited siya. Okay? Kaya, yon baka mamaya may mag-compare dyan, ay mas okay pala ang Google Drive. Ayun, kaya, kailangan natin gamitin ito. Same as with, uh, with Google, of course. Kailangan din natin gamitin yung Google natin. Especially the cloud. Cloud-based version natin. Ayan. So, as you can see here on my screen, this is the home ng Microsoft Office 365. Dito, makikita natin yung iba't ibang offerings ng Office 365. Meron siyang home, meron din siyang pang business, meron siyang enterprise, and then meron siyang education. Ayun, ang kagandahan sa atin ng mga DepEd teachers no, is, ayun, nag-purchase sila or nag-subscribe sila dito sa tinatawag nating education. Ano nga ba yung binibigay na subscription ng DepEd for Office 365? Ayun, so of course, it is under education. Titignan natin dito. There are three types of or three classification ng Office 365. Meron tayong tinatawag na A1, meron tayong tinatawag na A3, at meron tayong tinatawag na A5. Ano nga ba ang kinaibahan ng tatlong yan? Titignan natin. On the other tab, we have this A1, A3, and A5. Under A1, this is free. Kung halimbawa hindi pa naibibigay ng ating division, IT officer or ng district IT officer or ng ating school uh, IT uh, coordinator or ICT coordinator you can try uh, you can try downloading Office 365 A1 why it's free okay kaso nga lang limited so we have free Office 365 for web with popular apps like Outlook Word PowerPoint Excel so, lahat na mga or most of the tools or application na ginagamit ng mga teachers 
is already included doon sa Office 365A1. Tignan natin sa baba. We also have this OneNote, which is hindi na bago sa atin. We also have the services. We have Exchange, OneDrive. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. We have the OneDrive, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams. We have Sway, Forms. This is equivalent to Google Forms. We have Stream. Stream is like um, a YouTube version or YouTube version ng Microsoft. We have Flow. We have Power Apps. We have School Data Sync. And then we have the Yammer. Okay? So, usually, ang A1 natin is uh, intended for for students. Sabi dito, value for students. Work together in real time, co-authoring, auto-saving, and easy sharing in your favorite web apps. Isa pa sa kagandahan nitong subscription natin is the what we call collaboration. Bakit? Kasi, once we use Office 365, we can easily share yung Office document natin we can also we can also share yung ating Excel online. We can also share the PowerPoint. Pwede tayong mag-collaborate. Let's say for example, meron kayong ginagawa na PowerPoint presentation or meron kayong ginagawa na learning learning materials like PowerPoint. With the use of Office 365, madali mo nang i-add yung mga co-teachers mo or yung mga kasama mo sa team para i-build yung learning materials natin. Why? It's because naka-centralized siya. Yun yung tinatawag nating collaborative. Okay? If you have A1 subscription, ibig sabihin daw nun, you have unlimited personal cloud storage. Yun yung A1 natin. Kaso nga lang, based on my readings, kapag A1 ang ating subscription, magraran lang yung ating application online. Anong ibig sabihin nun? We can only access Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint via browser. Unlike with the Office 365 A3, all features in A1 Plus, full access to the Office desktop apps, and additional management and security. Meaning to say, lahat ng feature na nandirito sa A1 ay pwede rin gamitin or makukuha natin dito sa Office 365 A3 plus the Office Desktop Apps. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin nun, yung A1 natin is online lang siya magagamit. Dito sa A3 natin, eh, pwede natin or pwede tayong mag-download ng mga applications at pwede mag-stay sa ating laptop. Kapag wala kang internet, if you have the subscription of A3, pwede mo pa magamit ang application. Pwede mo pa magamit ang Microsoft Office application. What else aside from that? Ano pang pinagkaiba? Ayun, so dito we have 5 on A1, pero sa A3 nadagdagan siya ng publisher. Sa publisher at saka access. Okay? What else? We have all the value for A1+. Plus. Makikita nyo, install Office desktop apps on up to 5 PCs or max per user. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron akong tatlong laptop na MacBook at meron akong dalawang laptop na Windows base, I can use those subscription sa limang PC na yun. So, that is A3 subscription. Okay? Nakuha natin. Okay po. And, ang kagandahan pa nito, we can also install Office apps on up to 5 tablets and 5 phones per user. So, ibig sabihin, on A3 subscription, meron tayong 5 para sa PC or laptop, meron tayong 5 para sa tablet, at meron din tayong 5 sa cellphone. Meaning to say, meron tayong 15 na access or 15 na pwedeng gamitin ang ating subscription. Okay? So, that's a good thing. Why? Kasi, with the, the Office 365, all of your all of your documents are being stored doon sa tinatawag dating cloud. And then, say, for example, eh, pagod na yung mata mo or pagod ka na sa kaka, kakagamit ng laptop and you still want to continue what you are working no, you can use your mobile phone para doon na ituloy yung iyong trabaho. Or kapag meron ka namang tablet, pwede mong ituloy doon sa tablet mo. Why? It's because 
those tablet and PC at saka yung phone are synchronized into one doon sa tinatawag nating cloud. That is the benefit of Office 365A3. And then we also have this Office 365A5. Okay? So, anong pinagkaiba? Halos parehas din lang sila. Kaso nga lang, ang nakalagay dito includes all the value of students included in A3. Kaso nga lang, meron siyang Power BI. Okay? Ayan. So, question. Ano nga ba yung subscription na binigay ng DepEd sa atin? Okay? So, i-open natin yung ating account. Ito yung account natin. Titignan natin kung ano nga ba yung subscription na binigay ni DepEd. So, na-login ko na yung aking account. All you have to do is to click on your profile at the right uppermost ng ating screen. Click mo lang yun. And then, all you have to do is to click on my account. And then, on your account, doon mo makikita kung ano ang subscription na meron tayo. Dito, sa baba, makikita mo, we have apps and devices. Or, on your account, mismo, makikita mo dito kung anong subscription meron tayo. Okay, ayan o, view subscription. We have to click on view subscription. Makikita natin, Office 365A3 for faculty. Yan po ang binigay ng Department of Education na na subscription para sa atin ng mga teachers. Ayan, wherein we can use all of those application. Okay? So, makikita rin natin dito sa may baba, we have the apps and devices. Okay? Malalaman mo rin kung saan ginamit yung yung subscription or yung yung account mo. Okay? You see, for instance, uh, wag naman sana mangyari sa mga laptop po natin. Uh, for example, nakapag-install na tayo ng limang limang uh, office or nagamit na natin yung limang subscription natin sa mga laptop and then all of a sudden one of our laptop eh biglang nasira so sayang naman yung license ano pa yung pwede natin gawin okay so on here on apps and devices makikita natin dito lahat ng mga device or lahat ng mga laptop or PC na naka log okay so all you have to do is to hit on the devices at pwede mo siyang i-sign out Okay? So, on my case, isa pa lang yung ginagamit ko. That is, uh, ayun, itong current na ginagamit kong laptop, which is the Microsoft Windows 10 Enterprise. Ayun. So, all I have to do is to click on sign out. Pag sinign out ko yan, ibig sabihin, free up ulit siya. Ibig sabihin, meron ulit akong lima. Limang, uh, meron ulit akong lima na pwedeng paggamitan ng aking subscription. So, same goes through kapag lima nga yung ginamit natin, magre-reflect dito yung limang device na ginamit natin. Again, ayun. Meron tayong lima for PC or Mac. Uh, computer man yan or laptop. Meron din tayong lima for tablet. At meron din tayong smartphone. Um, itong Office 365 ay napakaganda. No? Ito yung isa sa mga program ng Department of Education na para sa akin ay napaka-useful para sa ating mga teachers. Why? It's because hindi na tayo bibili ng mga or hindi na tayo bibili ng software hindi na tayo magpo-purchase ng ng hindi na tayo magpo-purchase ng license on Microsoft ang DepEd na mismo ang nagbigay or ang Department of Education na mismo ang nagbigay ng subscription para sa ating mga teachers and I guess that's it for some feature ng ating Office 365 if you think that this video is useful um, you may hit on subscribe uh, like and comment down para sa mga question nyo na pwede nating sagutin and you can also uh, comment kung ano yung mga gusto mong pang malaman then of course don't forget to hit the notification bell ayun, para at least updated ka sa mga susunod nating mga tutorials ayun, we'd like to say thank you sa lahat ng mga nanood and God bless, keep safe pa rin sa atin mga kagoro till next time, see ya!